And thanks for joining us at WeAreGreenBay.com. Time to talk some high school football locker room OT with Kakana head coach Matt Binsfeld. How you doing? Real good. And linebacker Tyler Hippis. How you doing? Good, you. Playoff time. Different yes. atmosphere it, this week. I assume, coach, uh, things get ratcheted up just a little bit more. It's high school football is fun, but this is where all the hard work pays off from all the way back to last fall. Yep, it's, uh, there's two really exciting times of the year when we first start in uh, August and then now, because uh, it's a whole restart on the season. And it's really just exciting uh, when you, when half the teams are done playing, it's just right. the top half left. It's uh, really exciting every Friday. Well, this show is watched all around the state, not just in Northeast Wisconsin. And if you didn't know, he was a longtime coach or successful at Wrightstown. Tyler, he comes to your program. Part of this rebuild, you take another step from last season, from going five and four, now you're six and three. How fun has it been to be part of this whole process? It's been great, and Coach has done a lot for us, and we're lucky to have him. You, last uh, finishing up the, the regular season, big start, you go 4-0. Three teams that you played are tough, and they're the, the three losses at least, but what did you like when you saw these guys coming out of training camp to get off to such a good start? Because when you start 4-0, now you're like, all right, yeah. Even though a couple of them were non-conference, yep. you only you're like, okay, to get playoff eligible, here's what we need to do. Right, and I, I think I'll go back a little bit farther. I like what I saw from our guys in the preseason, and I knew we'd have a chance. But when we looked at the schedule in the off season, we saw it, we we knew we could get off to a good start with some of our kind of crossover games with the other divisions of the conference. So, but uh, we had good momentum right away. Um, our Hank Hoffman ran really well for us and we were doing everything, playing great defense. And uh, we, we've hit a few bumps in the road as we played some really good teams down the stretch here, but uh, we still have a really nice team. You mentioned those non-conference games too. You had played some guys north of the border. Yes. And that is a program, yeah. Tyler, that if you didn't know, uh, you found out quickly that, hey, let's, if we do face Pulaski or direct snap, wing T, what do they even call it these days? Single wing. Single wing, that's yes. right. I mean, those are tough teams to prepare yeah. for, aren't they? Really are, yeah. They're a big team, too. <clears throat> but, yeah. Was that a good gauge to find out where you guys were at? Yeah, really, really was. And especially when we scrimmaged them, too, gave us good luck, too, of, like when we came out. Well, so. wins over those guys, Oshkosh North, Wausau West, Appleton East, who's definitely improved. Yeah. I mean, yep. that VFA, I mean, it's been Kimberly for so long, and then there was Appleton North who would challenge them, but you had that stretch of five years where they, nobody touched them, right. and that was it. Yep. But now it's, things are kind of starting to sort themselves out a bit, yeah. not only in the VFA South, but the North. Yeah, high school football goes in uh, peaks and valleys and in streaks. So um, Kimberly's definitely doing everything right program-wise with their kids, with everything. Uh, but you know what? Talent runs and talent comes and goes for everybody. And uh, so that's the fun part about it is each year is a new season and you never know what's going to happen. Well, Tyler, how did playing teams like Appleton North and playing Kimberly and Hortonville to finish, how did that prepare you? I mean, because you now know exactly what kind of football you have to play to succeed and advance in the postseason. Yeah, it uh, definitely brought us together as a team. You know, when stuff didn't go our way, it kind of showed us who can do what and who needs to step up, bring us all together as a team so we can trust each other. That division two bracket of your eight, eight, eight uh, the grouping of eight, yeah. it's anybody's to win. You got Green Bay Southwest to start, four and four in the FRCC, four and five overall. What do you know about the Trojans? I mean, you guys have similar things that have happened to you during the year. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they've had some ups and downs in their seasons as well. Some key injuries to some key guys, but uh, I think I think what I, when I look at them, they're really aggressive on defense. They do a really nice job. They put a small, fast lineup out there, and they blitz and pressure a ton, and that's going to be a major challenge for us uh, offensively to try and move the ball on them. So they're a good team, well coached. How crazy are the ghosts going to be in the stands? What's the, what's the one Twitter account? The, uh, what are Kukana they called? The Kakana yes. Crazies, that's right. What, uh, I mean, is it, are you guys looking forward to it, hosting a home playoff yeah, game? I mean, how cool is that? It's been, what, 11 years, I think, so. Yeah. Since we hosted a home Since you hosted one. Yeah, yeah, I looked it up. It's been yeah. 10 years since the program even made it to the playoffs. Yep. Now you're doing it in back-to-back -back seasons. This is very cool yeah. for the program as a whole. It is. It's, it's great for our community. People are really excited about it, and our kids are really excited about it as well. So. Matt Binsfeld of Kokana, appreciate it. Hey, You've done a you. remarkable job. Two years ago, folks, these guys were 2-7, and seven, yeah. and now they're 6-3 and three hosting a playoff game. Tyler Hippus, best of luck on Friday thank night. Thank you.
You've been watching Locker Room OT at wearegreenbay.com.